Hello everybody and uh, welcome to a Friday evening edition of Keith's Beer Reviews. Um, this evening I'm going to be doing the last of the uh, single bottles I bought from the Lakefront Brewery. I'm going to be doing their East Side Dark. Uh, on the bottle it says a rich dark lager like the ones Milwaukee's founding fathers might have enjoyed on the old East Side. And from the website it says honoring the eclectic East Side of the, si the city this Bavarian dark lager is a blend of three specialty grains creating a rich smooth dark beer that anyone can enjoy. Pours a clear dark color with a nice off-white head. Hints of roasted malts find their way into the aroma and form a pleasant background in the dark rich flavor. The German lager yeast rounds out this brew with a smooth complex finish. It's art in brewed form. This comes in at 5.5% uh, ABV so let me get this in glass and see what we've got. Hopefully this will be better than the other two. Um, I do like some of the lakefront brews. I, I love their, their fuel cafe coffee stout. And there's a couple of others I've had in there. They have that Milwaukee's Pure Genius series that um, so far everything I've had from that is that is really good too. For some reason these I bought these one offs, maybe they're old bottles or something. Um, but anyway, here's what we got. We got a dark dark uh, there's a lot of red around the edges dark brown not black semi opaque there seems to be a lot of carbonation streaming up I had a initially I had about a two finger uh, slightly off white head lots of small bubbles seems to be dissipating fairly quickly let's get a nose on this and see what we have okay, got some maltiness there might be a little bit of light chocolate Little hints of nuttiness, maybe some uh, almost uh, almost a little breadiness. This smells decent. It smells better than the other two so far. Let's give it a taste and see what we have. Oh, there's a nice sweet chocolate plate. Uh, sweet chocolate, little roasted malts, touch of grains, kind of a toasted grain. little nuttiness, um, little biscuitiness. Um, the mouth feels real thin but then it's a lager like a dunkel maybe. Um, it's good taste. Um, like I said the mouth feels thin, the carbonation is a little high. Uh, let me give it a few minutes to warm up and uh, come back with my final thoughts and grade. Okay I'm back. It's been 10 minutes or so. Um, this is a decent beer. Um, as it's uh, warmed up, the aromas have come out a little bit. They're still light. You got your light chocolate, your light nuttiness, light breadiness. Um, it's a good smelling beer. Of course, it's a lager. Um, so, still light on the mouthfeel, too. Uh, carbonation's up there. Um, it's, a, it's a decent beer. It's a drinkable beer. If somebody offered me one, sure, I'd drink it. Um, probably won't buy it again. Has left some nice, uh, nice lacing all the way down the glass, though. Um, that's a plus in his favor. Um, but still, everything's light. Light chocolate. I mean, it's a good taste, but everything's light. Um, light chocolate, light nuttiness, light, bre light breadiness. Decent tasting beer. I'm going to give this a... It's definitely better than the other two I had from this brewery. Um, so I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Um, it's decent, a little above average, good beer, worth a try, but I wouldn't go search for it. But uh, anyway, till next time everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beer.